So Dave, yesterday or the other day, we we did this section over here. We showed we learned how to strap it, right? Correct. So now we're going to go over a couple different options for anybody who's looking and trying to install one of these. Mm -hmm. If you get a look down here, these guys are going with a 12-foot sheet. Mm -hmm. Here we strapped it. We, we ran the short way. Here we're going 12 long foot way. long way. Okay. So these are 12 foot sheets. So how are these going to get attached? Well, if you're using a 12 foot sheet, the best way to do it is a rhino bond underneath. That would be at the perimeter, which would be five foot in. So, and the spacing on that is going to differ from wherever part of the country you're right. in. And that's going to change with the dimensions of the building, correct? It's going to change, and, and this is something the estimator should figure out before he gets going. You know, go to the website, go to one of our, our rhino bond books. We have charts, we have graphs. Is Rhino Bond kind of like an induction welded system? It is an induction welding, yes. So absolutely. let me ask you that. If would I have to use an induction weld? Could I no. do something different? You could go through the top of the sheet and then strip it in. So I mean you could, but now you're pen you're putting screws in place for a perfectly good sheet. Right. And weld a strip over the top of that? Two welds. One hundred foot down, hundred foot, foot back, back, and then some hand welding on each end. Oh yeah. Absolutely. So yeah. again, it's up to you wanna go that route, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just no. a lot more work. It is. So Dave, we did this section. We didn't stagger the insulation. We did, we stagger, did, stagger, we did yeah. stagger the insulation. This section, we're not going to stagger. No. The insulation factor on this this building, the R factor, is, is not that big of a deal. Well, it's not heated. Yeah, it's not heated. <laughs> so really no reason to. Again, that's up to people in the audience. If they want to stagger or not stagger, it just facilitates this going a lot quicker. If you ask any roofer out there, can I have four by eights versus doing all this cutting? It's just going to speed things up. The other thing to think about, we know we talk about chalking lines. This, you definitely got to be on the money when you're chalking these lines because you can see that guy right there. This is what he's attaching into that purlin. Yes. If that sheet's running off, you don't find that purlin, you can't just leave that screw in there because you're not attached to nothing. No, no. So again, it's very critical. Those chalk lines are right on the money. Right. And this is why we mark things as we're laying insulation yeah. out. Yeah. We preached on that. We did this. Don't lose that purlin. No. Do not lose that purlin. No. So in from the perimeter five feet, they're dropping a roll of heat induction plates. Right. And then this edge, we're going to actually mechanically attach into the purlin also. Correct. So we have two attachment points. Five foot in on the purlin with the heat induction plates and then on the edge of the seam. And then they're going to run another sheet. And then this section over here, we're going to show them something a little bit different. Another option, correct? Right, yeah. right. So we'll have three options. We're just trying to give the, the contractor the, the bullets for his gun. What does he want to do? How does he want to do it? Right. And every job's going to be different. It is, yes, absolutely. I'm Dave. And I'm Wally. Check out our videos at gif.com slash roofing it right.